Welcome to Finance Excel video number 108. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 11 or the PowerPoints for chapter 11, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Excel Finance class section. Hey, last video we talked about beta. Beta is a proxy for systematic risk. And since the only risks in the market that are rewarded are systematic risk, that was a very important step at getting towards what is a reward for risk. Now, earlier last chapter, we saw that from historical data, we saw that the return minus the risk-free rate or some proxy for a risk, uh, T bill, which we used as a proxy for the risk-free rate, that's our reward for bearing risk. So now here, we just have been talking about in this chapter about uh, the risks, and the risks come from new unexpected information. And amongst all that different information, the one that uh, is rewarded is systematic risk. And so we have our beta. That's our measure. So look at this. Isn't this clever? The trainer index, named after the guy who created this, expected return on the asset minus our risk-free. That is our reward for bearing risk divided by our beta. And beta is a proxy for systematic risk. Well, what happens? Remember, all the way back in, I think it was chapter two or three, we did financial statement analysis. And we talked about the um, beauty of ratios. Because whenever you do a ratio like this, you end up with whatever the answer is over one. And so when we do this calculation, it's going to give us our reward for risk for every one unit of beta. And so that is the meaning of this. And what's, what's so awesome about it is that the market has a beta of 1. So now we'll be able to do this calculation, compare our answer to what the market, the financial markets out there, are giving out for risk. All right, so percentage return per one unit of systematic risk. Um, and this will allow us. Uh, or this can be used to see if a stock return seen in the market, uh, stock returns are too high or too low. Or more specifically, are expected uh, returns, are they too high or low? And then that can help us decide whether we want, whether a stock is priced correctly. Let's go over to Excel. Here's our situation. Risk-free, 2%. And the market risk premium is 9%. So this is the reward that the market is giving. Here's our, st and our goal is to see if these stocks are priced correctly. So stock A, beta is 1.2. The expected return, that's the expected return that uh, we've calculated is 12.5. And down here we have B with a beta of 0.6 and an expected return of 9%. So we want to calculate our reward to risk ratio. What is, according to our calculations here, what is the reward for one unit of systematic risk? So I'm simply going to say equals this. That is our expected return for asset A minus the risk-free divided by the beta. The result is a reward of 8.75% for every one unit of beta, which is our proxy for uh, systematic risk. And then you can immediately see, if you compare this, the market out there is offering 9. This is 8.75. Are we going to buy this stock? No way. So through this uh, measure here, reward to risk measure, we can see uh, we're not going to buy this stock. Now, in a competitive market, if uh, this situation uh, shouldn't last too long, right? People, other people will be doing the same calculations and seeing that uh, this price is too high and that it should be bid down. Now, wait a second. 8.75% means the price is too high? Yeah, because if everyone's discounting, right? When you discount at a higher rate, you get a smaller number. You discount at a lower rate, you get a higher number. Remember, rates and prices are inversely related. So as soon as we see this, we know that the stock price is too high. Let's do this one down here. Equals, and we'll do our, this is our estimated. So we've estimated expected return should be that. 
minus our risk-free divided by the proxy for systematic risk. Remember, it's only systematic risk that is rewarded. So by dividing by this, we get for one unit of systematic risk, what should uh, the return be? It should be that. We can then compare it to the market, which ha always has a systematic risk of one because it's the market. Not Market's offering nine, this one's offering 11.67. You betcha we will buy, because why? This rate is really high, so when we discount it down back at a high rate, it's going to be very low. This one, if we discounted it back, would be higher than this. So we would expect in a competitive market for this stock to uh, people like us, right? We see this, and so we buy. The more people buy, price gets um, uh, goes bid up. All right, that's the risk reward ratio. Um, expected return minus our risk-free divided by the beta. Uh, when we come back in our next video, we'll look at an extension of this, the security market line, and then capital asset price at mark, capital asset pricing model, CAP M. All right, see you next video.